Okay, welcome back to our look at the Star Wars Power of the Force 1 18th scale toy line from the 1990s. We're looking at something special and weird today. Uh, this is a Bomar Monk, which was a mail away from uh, probably 98, maybe 97, somewhat late 1990s. Uh, a pal of mine actually had this figure. And, or this, yeah, it's an action figure, sure it is, it's a deluxe action figure, and, uh, it was, it was either some sort of, I don't think Hasbro Pulse exists, maybe a Hasbro website at that point, exclusive, uh, but it was a mail-away, that's what we call it. I picked this up in a lot of mail-away figures, so I didn't pay an unreasonable price for it at all, um, after, you know, the, the shipping was free on that particular purchase, and so, you know, divided the cost between all the the figures I picked up in that lot, I, I did okay on this. I, I I couldn't tell you it was five bucks. I typically say I only pay five bucks a figure, but uh, this is tech, this is almost a vehicle, even though you couldn't ride it. You'll see what I mean when we have a look at it. Now, uh, some of you may be saying the, the Bomar what now? Uh, because you, this is another blink and you miss it opportunity. If you if in Return of the Jedi. When C-3PO and R2-D2 show up at Jabba's palace, uh, they knock on the door, and uh, this thing comes out. It looks like an eye, uh, and it, it starts questioning them, like, who goes there in, in Hatties or whatever language it is. And eventually, the door opens, and when they walk into the palace, just in the background, shadow, you know, you can barely even see it. One of these approaches C-3PO, Okay. And hence, is, hence, we get the Bomar Monk action figure. Now, this is spectacular. What is it? Is it a droid? Well, it's a droid with a brain. That is a brain inside that clear plastic, whatever it is. Um, it's going to be hard to, to walk you through the articulation. Each of these little legs has a swivel on it. And uh, so there's six points of articulation right there. Um, this... I think this thing, I don't know if it moves up and down. I'm not going to try to move it. It is very flexible plastic. Now we've got this stinger tail beneath. There's another point of articulation. And this is on a what appears to be a ball socket joint. Uh, the abdomen, uh, the spinnerets. I don't know what's going on back here. It's very, it's rubber. This ain't plastic. This is rubber. And it's. it reminds me of the little thing on a perfume bottle. Uh, but I would not recommend you squeeze it. But, I mean, what a neat toy and uh, this is a there was no precedent for this this didn't come from the vintage star wars series this is new sculpting this is a new design uh this is a this is a swing and a home run is what this is this is really cool it does take up a massive footprint on your display this goes up on the top shelf with some of the larger creatures and speeder bikes and stuff that won't fit on the, the lower shelves this does swivel around too if you want it to uh Really cool action figure, pals. Um, again, it's one of these characters that had next to zero screen time, but it had a, a toy made of it. Have they made this since? I bet they have. I, I, I haven't seen any. I only know about uh, this particular one. Uh, but it's a cool toy. Uh, if you're not deep into Star Wars lore, it is probably easily skippable. By the way, check that out. I don't know if they... All, yeah, they all do that too, so you don't just get swivel. You also get... Uh, Oh, that's menacing. That's if you're if you listen, if you've got arachnophobia, stay away from this toy, okay? Because it 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 is a droid spider. Uh, I mean, so be mindful. If you're freaking out looking at this, don't buy this, okay? Just a, a quick PSA and friendly warning there. But otherwise, oh look at this! Even more features that I'm only just discovering with this. Wow, this is cool. This is a cool toy. Uh, I can't recommend you pay a whole lot for it, but nonetheless. Uh, what a display piece. I need to give you a size comparison of this next to another uh, action figure. Let's put him beside uh, our old pal Boba Fett here so you can get a size comparison of these uh, two toys. That's about screen accurate, too. It was about about that size. I should have found a C-3PO, but he's, he's, he's in the back row or something, so <laughs> it's been hard to get out. But there you go, pals. The Bomar Muck, and it's spelled B- apostrophe omar okay with two m's i believe or two r's and uh i'll try to get the spelling right in but th there's some neat sculpting there i mean it's clearly a, ro a droid but I, it has some organic elements incorporated especially that brain and the way they've the way they've painted the, the shell it looks like the brain is is down in some liquid i think that's what they were going for but uh, hey 
it's a cool toy, pals. That's a, that's really the best I can. I mean, what more do I need to say? This is a cool toy. I just wouldn't spend a whole lot of money on it. Okay. Well, thanks so much for watching. May the force be with you, and I'll talk to you again soon.